Hello and welcome back to Ultima 7, the Black Gate and Forge of Virtue. So we're uh, still in pause, trying to solve the mystery of the Silver Serpent Venom Thief. And I think there's only a few people left in town to talk to. So let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, who do we start with? Who are you? You see a nervous man who constantly blinks. He sees you and looks like he's in a snit. Who art thou? Uh, let's just try Lugan this time. Very well, Lugan. What dost thou want? What's your name? I am Merrick. And do you have a job? I used to be a farmer here in Paws. Now I suppose I work for the Fellowship. I live in their shelter. Then tell me about the Fellowship. The Fellowship is a group that has been gaining much popularity in recent years with the people of Britannia. While on the surface it may have simply appear to be a scholarly society studying its particular philosophy, its teachings have the power to forever alter the shape of Britannian society. Its ceremonies are deeply moving experiences. Uh, philosophy... Yeah, we know this already. Sanguine of whatever, triad of inner strength, blah blah blah. No, I don't want to join. Uh, tell me about pause. I've lived here in pause all my life. I will not leave it now. I shall never leave. Okay. You were a farmer? I was a farmer, of course. That was before the seven year drought. Colmar Fenn and myself were reduced to paupers. Paupers? For years, Colmar Fenn and I lived off the rubbish of others sleeping by the side of the road. Then I found the fellowship and my life has ch was changed for the better. I've tried to share my newfound fortune with my friends, but I fear they hate me for being more resourceful than they. Tell me about Fenn and Colmor. Fenn was a farm laborer and one of Colmor's most trusted friends. With the farm gone, Fenn just did not have any place to go or any way to live. And Colmor? He once owned one of the largest farms in all of Britannia. He was born to wealthy parents. After he lost his farm, he took to sleeping along the road. One night, a gang of bullies wanted to steal his gold. He had none, so they beat him until he was lame. He's a very bitter man. Tragic. You know anything about the thief? I've heard that some of Morphin's venom had been stolen. I cannot imagine who would do it, unless it was that brat that lives with the farmer widow. You mean Tobias? I believe his name is Tobias. Yeah. And the widow? I believe her name is Camille. Usually we refer to people by their names, not their marital statuses. And that's all you got for us. Oh, right. Well, you are not a pleasant human, I don't think. I don't like you very much. Good day, Lugan. What's this? Uh, so the Fellowship doesn't like the gargoyles. We haven't spoken to any gargoyles yet. Book of Fellowship we've already read. Bunch of crap in here that we don't need. You must be Garrett. You see a young, jovial man who gives you a friendly greeting. Hello. I'm Garrett, the son of Faridun and Britta. Uh, well, tell me about your folks. My father works for the Fellowship, helping the poor people in Paws. He tries to recruit them, but most refuse. Poor people? My father says that the poor people reject the Fellowship because of, because the triad of inner strength requires strength of character. Character? My father says the poor are weak of character, and that is why they are poor. They do not have to. They do not have to be. They are just too lazy to work. Pull up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, eh? Dost thou agree? Mm, I'll say no. Then thou must be a person of weak character also. Uh, recruit? My father was once the head recruiter in Britain until they moved him here. I once heard him talking to mother about how the fellowship was wasting its time here. Here in pause. Actually, I do not like this town very much. The people here are all poor and the only one my own age is Tobias. And, and, he adds, there is a thief here. Yeah, what do you know about the thief? There's a thief in this town. Our merchant Morphin had some valuable super s silver serpent venom stolen from him. The culprit is still free, so be wary. I don't think I need to be worried about a common thief. Uh, do you like Tobias? He and his mother reject the fellowship. They are witless and stupid, and I do not like them. Hmm? What about your mother? Oh, she's just my mother. She does whatever my father doth tell her to do. Okay. Did I? I don't think I asked you about a job. I'm too young to learn a trade of mine own yet, but I do assist my parents in running of the shelter. 
I hope to be a counselor in the fellowship one day, or a professional whistle panpipes player. That is the dream. I've been playing panpipes since I was little. I'm pretty good now, if I say so myself. I keep the whistle by my bed and practice every night before going to sleep. Good for you. Uh, tell me about the shelter. Plenty of beds are available if thou wouldst like to stay in the shelter, he says with a condescending tone. And the fellowship. Oh, I can tell thee all thou dost need to know about us. The fellowship is the philosophical group devoted to the teachings of a truly great man named Batlin. In the absence of the ab... Oh, we already did this. Yeah, philosophy we know about already. Goodbye, then. So, pan pipes. So that must be the chest by your bed. I wonder why it's locked. When the other ones aren't. in the bags. What's in the bags? A little bit of gold. Not much. You must be Britta. A stern looking woman stares back at you without humor. Hello. I am Britta. Job? I help my husband Faridwin run the fellowship shelter in Paws. And tell me about Paws. We hear about everything that goes on in Paws. If I do not know about it, then mine husband does. If there's anyone in particular thou dost wish to know about, is there anyone in particular? Uh, I guess so. I know about these people. Polly. Who's Polly? Is that the inn owner? That's right. Polly runs the local tavern to be near people. She is a lonely soul and feels that there is simply no one who wishes, who, who wishes for her heart. If it, it makes me so sad to think of her, she could find all the companionship she could want if she would just join the fellowship. What about Camille? Camille is a farm widow. She tends to live in the past, following the old virtues and questioning the ways of the fellowship. These country folk are so superstitious, thou knowest. It is a fault of their, of their low intellect. She does not even notice what a hooligan her boy Tobias is growing up to be. Not at all like our son Garrett. Yeah, Garrett sounds okay, I guess. Britta beams. Garrett is a wonderful son. He's being raised to follow the values of the fellowship. His worthiness has been rewarded. Ugh. How? Garrett is so talented at the whistle panpipes, it is truly a gift. And Tobias? A simply wretched little urchin, always sulking, but then one must realize that he, hath, that he has no father to discipline him properly. What about Alina? I don't think we've met, even met her yet. Alina lives in the shelter with her baby. Poor thing. Her husband is a common thief who even now sits in prison. But we shall help We shall help her get her life straightened out once we persuade her to join the fellowship. She's not smart enough, thou knowest, to see the advantages for herself. She must be carefully instructed. Ugh. And the shelter? Running the shelter is hard work for my husband and me. But it, worth it, but, but it is worth the effort to ease the suffering of those less fortunate than we. Fellowship? Thou should speak to mine husband of the fellowship. I am certain thou wilt be most impressed by what he shall have to tell thee. Your husband, Faridwin. Mine husband is the most honorable man I have ever met in my life. Do not put stock in the proud boasts of wives, good Avatar. I am a simple man who only does what he can. And what do you know about the thief? One of our members, a local merchant named Morphin, had a shipment of silver serpent venom stolen from him. Not that I care about the venom itself, but is it not shocking? Serpent venom. I've never seen any myself. I have no idea what it does to someone, but it cannot possibly be good. Bye bye. Mayest thou walk with the fellowship, Avatar? Okay, presumably Alina is here. And that's probably you. You see a simple peasant woman. Her face is etched with sorrow. Hello. I am Alina. What's your job? I have none, my lord, save for being the mother of my child. I'm waiting for my husband, Weston, to return from Britain. Weston? My husband is imprisoned in Britain for stealing fruit from the royal orchards. Stealing? My husband is no thief, my lord. He went there to buy fruit for the child and me so that, he, so that we would have enough to eat. He's been wrongfully accused. I'm certain of it. Eat? We are very poor. My baby and I are presently living with the fellowship shelter because we have nowhere else to go. What's it like in the shelter? We're fortunate that we are able to live by the Fellowship's good graces, but I do not know how long we'll be allowed to stay. Allowed? 
They tell me the shelter is only for members of the fellowship. Unless I join soon, I shall be asked to leave. And I have nowhere else to go. And you don't like the fellowship? It, I was a member of the fellowship. It was a member of the fellowship that has accused my husband. Now they wish for me to join them. Someone accused... A fellowship member accused him? They say if I join, they will attempt to, to free my husband. But it was they who unjustly accused him. I cannot trust them, but I fear I may have no choice. Tell me about your child. Cassie is my daughter. Just a wee babe. She's my only joy. And... Well, I'm not saying join them, but are, do you have any information? I cannot join the fellowship without feeling that I'm betraying my husband. How could I become one of those who have falsely accused him? Yet, if I do not, they will not allow my child and me to live here. She sobs and covers her face with her hands. It is so unfair. I must choose between starvation and betrayal. If only Weston were here, I do not know what to do. Well, we'll see if we can help. Pleasant day to leave, my lord. Avatar. Oh, Avatar, I have news. Garrett, my son, told me that Tobias was in possession of some silver, silver snake venom. I went to investigate and found Tobias with it. That is correct. I am a witness to what Faridwin has said is the truth. I have often said that Tobias was no good. Now here is proof. He is, he is the thief that has been preying upon, upon one of our honest merchants. And to think I let him come into contact with my son. I hope he shall be dealt with in a manner appropriate to one who is leading youth astray uh, from the way of the fellowship. I suggest that thou go and speak with his mother at once. Camille should keep a tighter rein on her offspring. Uh, okay, so the leader of the group of people who is, I don't know, uh, coercing less fortunate people into joining the Fellowship has told me that uh, the boy that he does not like was caught with the venom. That is fishy. Uh, let's see who's in the inn, because we still need to talk to Thurston, I believe it is. And this is Thurston. Okay, so before we do this, I want to see something. Oops. Let's... My dear Spark, let us have a little bit more light. Okay, so we haven't actually looked at this yet. I probably should have done it at the start, but eh, that's okay. We're learning. Uh, these are our character stats. Uh, I should stagger them so we can see things better. Uh, so you can see that I, myself and Iolo are level 3, whereas Spark is level 2. Uh, we go up... Um, uh, in experience and there are thresholds to gain the next level I forget what those are off the top of my head and then each level I believe you get three training points that you can use to increase your stats uh, strength dexterity or intelligence and the different different trainers around uh, Britannia will increase the different stats by different amounts I am not 100% clear on how the stats literally impact your ability, uh, your combat abilities. I do know that strength uh, is important for your carrying capacity, which I haven't actually, well, uh, I've, I haven't paid much attention to yet. Um, and I assume how much damage you do, and then dexterity, I assume, is your likelihood to hit, and probably more uh, important with ranged weapons, but I don't know that for sure. So the reason I wanted to look at this is because I believe we're about to deliver something to Thurston, and I wanted to see uh, if our experience goes up, and if it goes up for each character, and uh, if so, how much it goes up, um, because I've never been super clear on that type of thing. So... Uh, so we're at 250 and Spark is at 172. Damn it. Greetings, my lord, says Thurston. Name, I'm Thurston. Uh, let's see delivery. Got a delivery for you, Thurston. You give the sack over to Thurston. He opens it and reaches inside. His hand comes back out, filled with wheat. 
He sifts through it with his fingers. I know Camille is oft quite busy running her farm. Thanks to thee for making the delivery. This should compensate thee for thy trouble. He hands you ten gold pieces. Uh, what's your job? I operate the mill here in Paws. What's Paws like? In case thou hast not noticed, the people who live here are not so well off as their cousins who live in Britain. In fact, we have, all, we have even had a thief recently. Yes, I've heard all about it. Indeed, thou shouldst be wary, my lord. There is a thief in this town. Morphin, a merchant, had several vials of valuable venoms, or valuable silver snake venom stolen from him. I wish they would use the consistent phrasing for this. I think it's silver serpent venom. Anyways. Tell me about the snake venom. It is procured from the silver serpent. I believe gargoyles used it habitually in the old days. I'm not so sure what it might do to a human. Perhaps Morphin can tell thee more. Yeah, he already has. Uh, what's your mill like? The local economy depends on the mill for flour, so I ensure that the mill runs. Smart. Sometimes I feel that keeping the wheels turning is the only reason to live. Uh, what? I have no wife or family. I've thought about joining the fellowship, but I refuse. I have nothing but my work and a drink at the Salty Dog now and then. Uh, yeah, seems like a nice place to live with the Salty Dog. In truth, I go there more to be near Polly, the innkeeper, than for the wine. Really? But she's always busy tending bar and has no time for me, I'm sure. Uh, you don't like the fellowship either, eh? I know they do good work here in town, but there is just something about them that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm starting to learn that myself. Uh, you like the flower? The mill is closed at present. If thou wouldst please ref return when it is open again, I would gladly sell thee all the flour thou canst carry. That won't be necessary. Okay, bye bye Good day to thee, my lord. Okay, first let's check this. So we didn't get any experience points, just the gold. Okay, good to know. Oh, Polly. Polly smiles. What can I do for thee, my lord? Don't remember what her voice sounded like. Did you know Thurston has a crush on you? You relate to Polly what you heard Thurston say about her. She's taken completely by surprise. Thurston really said that about me? I've always liked him, but in truth I've always thought I was not good enough for him. Uh, we talked a little more fun already. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do we get any experience for that. No, no experience for that. Oh, Thurston joining her in the kitchen, eh? Greetings, my lord. Uh, so I talked to Polly. You relate to Thurston what Polly had said about him. He looks at you with joyous surprise. Did Polly really say these things? It is ridiculous that she believes I'm too good for her. Suddenly he forgets his work and starts hurrying around in excitement. For years I've loved this woman from afar. I will begin courting her immediately. Great. I'm happy for you guys. Are we get experience for that? Nothing. So there's really no reason to do that other than try to help two NPCs fall in love. Who's this? Andrew. Don't need to talk to you. Uh, Morphin, anything else to say? Tobias stole the venom. I'm not so sure Tobias was the one who stole the venom. I've not seen any of the signs of venom use in Tobias, and I'm quite familiar with its symptoms. But, now that I think about it, I have noticed that Garrett has appeared very tired lately. He seems hyperactive one moment and unhealthy the next. Garrett, eh? Perhaps thou should make a search of Garrett's belongings. Which reminds me, I saw him earlier playing near the slaughterhouse. He dropped this key. Perhaps it opens something. Significant. Here it is. Yeah, I know what that opens. Probably that locked chest. Uh, we should go talk to Camille too, just to see if she has anything to add. Maybe Tobias as well. Avatar, my son Tobias has been wrongly accused. He is no thief, and I cannot believe a vial of venom was found in his possession. I truly believe it was planted there. Please, I beg thee, please clear my son's name. He has done no wrong. I know my son Tobias has suffered for not being, from not having a father. I have tried my best on mine own to raise him well. But this farm requires so much work that I fear I do not have enough time to devote to him. But I know in my heart that my son is not a thief. Might I suggest that thou speak with Morphin again? He may have recognized signs of usage of this foul substance in other members of the village. Okay, so it looks like we did that out of order. We've already spoken to Morphin. And I don't know if Tobias has anything to add. 
Nor do I know where Tobias is. Farmers can be a pain to find because they often have so much space in which they routinely... Oh, he was sleeping. He was just little and I didn't see him. What dost thou want? Tobias asks. Venom. I do not know anything about the stolen venom. I am falsely accused. Falsely accused? That is right. Garrett did it. I just know it. He was in my room the other day when I came in from the fields. He said he was looking for a ball, but I do not believe him. Thou canst believe me or not. I do not care. But if thou art truly the Avatar, thou wilt know I am telling the truth. Yeah, I have a feeling you're telling the truth. Be on thy way then, O great and wise Avatar. Jeez. I mean, I believe the kid, but... A little snotty. <gasps> Still no experience. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, look. A suspicious bag. With one silver serpent venom. Faridwin, oh, let's talk to you, you little brat. Pleasant day to thee, my lord, says Garrett. I found the venom. Thou hast found me out. Yes, it was I who planted the venom on Tobias. He did de he did deserve it. I beg thee, please do not tell my parents. Oh, I'm going to tell your parents. Wilt thou tell my parents? Oh, yeah. Thou art of weak character, or otherwise thou wouldst understand what I tried to do. Planted? I stole the venom from Morphin so I could put the blame on Tobias. I do not know why Morphin has it or what he does with it. I only knew that it was valuable and that it would cause everyone worry if it were stolen. Garrett does not meet your eyes. You instinctively know he is not telling the truth and he may very well be using the venom. Are you using the venom, Garrett? Garrett shuffles his feet and frowns. Well, I tried it just once. I'm sorry, I'll never use it again. Worry. I thought that if Tobias were accused of stealing something that everyone would notice. His mother would join the fellowship and force him to join too. It would improve their lives and force them to see the truth about themselves. And Tobias. I may not have told the truth about Tobias stealing the venom, but I know that he is up to no good. He shall come to a bad end. It's just that wait and see. Yikes. Goodbye then. Oh, Faridwin. Thou dost wish to speak with me again, Avatar? Says Faridwin. Uh, take action. I don't know. Let's get the case solved. Thankfully, we can now put this business of snake venom thus behind us. Thanks to thy thorough efforts, I shall deal with my son. Let us speak of this no more. Garrett was caught. Thou dost say my son has admitted to stealing the venom? I do not know what to say. My thanks, Avatar, for uncovering the truth. You, you're going to take action? I promise thee I shall apply the necessary discipline to my son to ensure that this bad habit he has picked up from the local riffraff will not trouble this community this community again. I found the venom. Thou art a resourceful person. Unfortunately, thy discovery has upset me a great deal. I don't really care. No matter that Tobias did not personally steal the venom himself, he caused the theft by means of his corrupting influence on my son. Oh, give me a break. While his actions are just short of criminal, I shall blame Tobias. I still blame Tobias. Excuse me. Ugh. Bye. Uh, experience? There we go. Got 75 experience. Did that level up Spark? It did. So Spark is now level 3 and we can train the hell out of him. Uh, which is one of the benefits of getting Spark, is that he starts off very, uh, I, I, very weak, I guess. He's just a kid and he's level 2. Um, but because you get him at such an earlier level, you can get his stats much higher through training, because you have those um, at least three extra training points um, compared to some of the other characters, depending on what level you get those other characters. Uh, now that Morphin's gone, let's take these sausages. Morphin, this is not your house. Are you at the inn? There goes the torch. 
God, it's so annoying when you don't have a torch and it's dark, but I guess that's the point. Greetings, my lord, says Morphin. Return the venom. I thank thee for, for ferreting out the thief and returning my snake venom. So Garrett was the culprit, eh? I'm not surprised now that I think about it. I must keep closer tabs on my venom from now on. That's it. Good day to thee. No, I don't even get anything for giving the venom back to him. So I could have sold that and gotten some gold instead. But I didn't. Um, okay, before we end the episode, I want to go back and try something. I forgot that we picked up the deed to the horse and carriage, or a horse and carriage. And I want to see if it actually works, that we can take it without buying it. I don't think you can, nor do I really want the horse and carriage, but... Because I don't, it's not actually faster than walking, if I remember correctly. We must first, pur first purchase the title for this cart. Right, so that doesn't help. Uh, not actually faster, I don't think, anyways. Um, but, but I'll give it a try. Uh, anyways, we'll drop that off, and we will uh, end the episode there.